But first tonight, breaking news. We won. Tom Swazi declares victory in the race to replace George Santos. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. Republican Mozzie Pillip conceded the race for Long Island's 3rd Congressional District less than an hour ago. And that flips the seat from Republican to Democrat. Let's take a look at the numbers here that we have so far with 84% of the precincts reporting. Tom Swazi with a lead of 54% to 46% that Mozzie Pillip is now reporting. This district shaped by voters in parts of of Nassau County and Queens. We have team coverage of tonight's election. Jennifer McLogan with reaction from Mozzie Pillar. Political reporter Marsha Kramer is here with analysis. But we begin with Carolyn Gussoff live at Swazi's victory party in Woodbury in Nassau County tonight. Carolyn. Maurice and Christine, good evening. A district that was in the news for all the wrong reasons with the George Santos scandal has flipped back to blue. A nerve-wracking night for Nassau Despite all the attacks, despite all the lies about Tom Swazi and the squad, about Tom Swazi being the godfather of the migrant crisis, about sanctuary Swazi, despite the dirty tricks, despite the vaunted Nassau County Republican machine. We won. There are divisions in our country where people can't even talk to each other. All they can do is yell and scream at each other. And that's not the answer to the problems we face in our country. The answer is to try and bring people of goodwill together to try and find that common ground. So much was at stake in this race. This district has been without representation. The balance of power in the House is an issue. It adds one to the blue column. And some of the biggest issues of our time were on the ballot. The migrant crisis, abortion, democracy, gun control. Swazi fended off attack ads and fought back. He made Mozzie Phillips' inexperience and lack of solution central to this campaign and told voters that experience in Congress matters. And guess what? The voters in the 3rd Congressional District get to do this all over again in nine months for the general election. But first, Tom Swazi says he'll be heading to Washington in the next day or two to begin right after the, the election is served. 